Hey, Colin Lay here with Lay Roots, and I want to talk to you today about slats. Um, a slat is a special lifetime access trust, and they are an interesting form of estate planning. So basically, uh, slats are used for individuals that have estates valued between this number, about two million, and estates of five and a half million. And the reason those numbers are important is because um, above this number, you're going to be paying a Washington estate tax, uh, somewhere between 10 and 20% right now. And if you're above this number, you're paying a federal estate tax, which is at 40% right now. So if you fall into this category in this range, you don't have enough assets to owe federal estate taxes, but you do have enough to pay uh, Washington state estate taxes. Um, it's a bit of a tongue twister for me. Um, now, so I talked to people, a couple people this past week and they were in this range and they were wanting to know what to do because they want to get below this number. And one of those common ways to do that is to give some money away. So. This, this number here represents an exemption amount. So you can give away up to this number, about five and a half million right now, and usually goes up every year with inflation. So you can give that money away or assets um, during your lifetime without paying any gift taxes. So essentially, if somebody was here at say the $3 million range, they could give away assets worth a million dollars and um, that would then bring them down below the state level and so since they're using their federal gift tax exemption there's no tax on that and then that drops them down to uh, below this number so then at the time of their death they would not owe any Washington estate taxes because I haven't really run into anybody who wants to pay estate taxes. Uh, they don't want their loved ones to have to pay that extra tax on money that they've probably already been taxed plenty on. Um, so this whole gifting process, a lot of times comes in the place of a spousal lifetime access trust. So basically this individual with this estate creates a trust, drops this gift of money, assets, whatever, into this trust. Uh, the person's spouse or their spouse and their kids uh, can use that money um, and it basically passes, uh, it gets the money out of the individual's estate so they don't owe estate taxes. Now, um, I was talking to someone who wanted to do this and they were wanting to uh, gift out a piece of property that was worth a couple million bucks um, and that would have Again, they were, they were somewhere in this range and that would bring them below that $2 million threshold. But the thing to consider um, when you are gifting assets, the person who receives the gift receives your basis uh, for capital gains taxes. So um, if you pass something along at death, they get what's called a step up in basis. Um, so when they sell the asset, if they do, um, they don't owe as many capital gains taxes. So if you gift something um, that has a low basis and the person you gift it to then ends up selling it, um, they're gonna be looking at paying capital gains taxes. So the important thing to do is make sure that if you're trying to avoid a 10 to 20% state estate tax, uh, you don't end up racking up a higher 15 to 20% capital gains tax bill. Uh, that would really defeat the, pur defeat the purpose of all this planning. Um, so there you have it. Hope that's clear for you. Hey, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us. Take care.